everyone today I'm going to be sharing with you my May favorites now if you follow any one of my social media networks or whatever you're gonna see that I was in Kauai for part of the month so there wasn't a lot of makeup worn then but there are a few things that I'd like to share with you that I have been in love with this month and are great for kind of you know getting towards that summer weather so let's get started so I'm just going to start off with what I discovered in Kauai. Um, to keep my hair this vibrant crazy color, I have to use quite a ton of conditioner. So I tend to go and try to buy either conditioner that's on sale at my beauty supply for professionals or I tend to get random things. And I went by Costco in Kauai and I saw this and it's the Kirkland Professional Salon Formula Moisture Conditioner. Now this conditioner is actually, actually kind of pretty amazing. So if you think about the conditioners and stuff that you get in the salon, you want something that's going to be like um, sulfate free, paraben free, gluten free, um, color safe, stuff like that. It's kind of important for when you get high end products. Well if you look down here at the bottom, it is sulfate, paraben, gluten, and 100% vegan free. It has uh, color safe with UV protectants. This bad boy is actually pretty amazing. It feels so good on my hair. I was really surprised when I used it and I was thinking, oh, when I rinse my hair out, it's going to be kind of dry feeling and not so soft. Like, you know, some conditioners, there's soft conditioners that make your hair good, feel good, and then there's conditioners that look and smell good, but they don't make your hair feel good. This one makes your hair feel good, and it's $8 at Costco, so go check it out and give it a try. It's only 8 bucks. So I'm just going to do this next one um, because it's not even a hair product, but that's okay. It is the Hemp Lotion. If you've never tried this lotion, it's pretty amazeballs. It is um, pure herbal extracts, and I got the scent Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. This one's new. It smells like heaven. I absolutely love it. It smells just like if you were having a like coconut watermelon cocktail or something like that. It smells so good and it's super moisturizing. I use it for my legs and my arms especially towards the summertime because I tend to get these little like dry patches near the back of my arms. So I just take this little friend in the morning and rub it all over my arms like I'm going to do right now. And it smells good which is a huge plus and it stays nice and moisturized for a really long time. Oh, I love the way it smells. It smells so flipping good. Something else that smells good and I've done a review on is this really cute perfume that I got in Kauai. It is called Library of Flowers. I got it in the fragrance Wildflower and Fern. How adorable are these bottles, by the way? It is so cute. And this one has some of the most delicious, like, soft, light, like just beautiful soft lightweight fragrance that is great if you are not one of those people who like to wear a super heavy perfume or something for during the day this little guy is perfect they also have a lot of other scents that I will link to my um, blog post that will be accompanying this video and you can also buy it off of my Lovocracy that I will link in my blog post as well so moving on to my face um, I went and got a facial on my return home from Kauai. I know this is all about Kauai, but whatever. It was an amazing trip, and it was so much fun, and I mean, it was like a good part of my month, so almost half of my month. So I went and got a facial, and I have been using this. It's called the Believe Deep Hydrating Balm, and it comes with this cute little like bamboo wood uh, spoon, and this is actually made by the, um, what am I trying to say? the um, esthetician place that I went and got my facial at and it's just this like really thick nice balm that you like only have to use a pea size you get out with a little spoon you get a pea size you emulsify it in between your hands and rub it on your skin it's great for people who tend to get a little bit drier if you have dry skin it's great if you have acne prone skin like me it's not made me break out and what's great about it is that since we're putting all kinds of normally like topical solutions and using salicylic acid, this is great to go on top of and keep your skin hydrated while protecting your skin at nighttime. So I use this bad boy every other night. 
Since summertime everybody wants to be bronze and tan and glowing beautiful goddesses, I've been going towards more bronzy blushes. The first one is my NYX like holy grail for me personally for a bronzer, uh, more bronzy type blush. This is a beautiful color because it's not orange, but it's not like too deep to where you'd want to use it as a bronzer. It's the perfect blush for me. Actually the one that I'm wearing super lightly today. It is my absolute favorite bronzy blush and it's only a few dollars so that is a really fun one and a must have for summer. The second one is by Frankie Rose Cosmetics. You guys have heard me talk about some of their stuff a few times. Um, this is in the shade um, Canyon Spice. It looks a little dark for my lighter colored face. But when you use a really light hand um, and use it just to sweep it on your cheeks, it's a really gorgeous color. I wouldn't recommend this one for fair skin tones like I would the terracotta, but I would recommend this for medium to dark skin tones. It is so gorgeous. And both of these have like a tiny bit of like sheen to them, but just enough to give you that really beautiful glow to your cheeks. For my eyes, I have received the Ico London um, Black Magic Mascara. I got it in a little tri trial size that Ico sent to me and I've been using it. It is a long wear mascara. I'm going to be doing a review on this soon, but this mascara is so awesome. I feel like it just makes my eyelashes go like really long and separated and it's kind of a lighter weight formula but I can build it up within maybe two swipes and it just makes my lashes look amazing almost like falsies and I would have to say that I'm kind of liking it better than Benefits They're Real which is one of my holy grail mascaras so this little Ico is a great purchase um, I got this one and the blue one which is kind of fun I'm gonna have to figure out how to wear that but this mascara has been so great and the way that it comes off is almost like the tubes come off of your lashes and then like wash off so because it's a long wearing it's not gonna be just like oh I'm gonna get water on it and wash it right off you have to kind of let the water sit on it for a second or use an oil remover but I'm loving that because it keeps my eyelashes staying straight up without having to wear waterproof mascara so this is gonna sound really funny because I have super dark uh, makeup on my eyes today I never wear this much black but I figured hey why not have a little bit of fun so normally I love to wear brown liner. So I've ran out of my favorite brown like liquid liner and the company has ceased to continue making that one. Why? I don't know. So I went and got the NYX. This is the um, Collection Chocolate, the Liquid Brown Liner CC06. This is a brush applicator, which I don't mind using, but because it's such a fine tip, it can give me the really lightweight lines that I like to do on my eyes when I'm not having like a full face of makeup on every day. Just enough to give me a little bit of uh, defined eyes so my eyes don't disappear. And then you can just press it a little bit harder to layer up for a thicker line and I like it because it has a perfect pigmentation to kind of opt out of not having to use black liner every day. But when I am wearing black liner, these are my go-to Best Buds favorites. I found this from one of my friends here on YouTube, I can't remember who it was, but it is the Double Up um, Lashes by Ardell, the number 205s. There are a few others that are the Double Up and they have different like ways the lashes are, but the 205s are some of my favorites because I have kind of you know, smaller eyes on the ends. It just brings your lashes up and out since they're like lengthened on the ends. These are super easy to wear. and. The way that I like to wear them, which is my favorite way, is I cut them in half, just like you see here. These are some that I've used. I cut them in half and only put them on the outer corners of my eyes, so it just brings it out, and it's great because on a day that I don't want to wear full strip, or on days that I'm like, dude, this is way too hard, it's taking way too long to put on my lashes, these are the perfect ones. You just cut them right down the middle and pop them on the ends of your eyes, and it just gives you this cute little winged eye look. Today I am wearing my Red Cherry number 213 lashes. These are one of my absolute go-tos for doing bridal makeup and I've been really loving these because they don't have that super thick band on the bottom and they just give you just enough lashes to be really glamorous and pretty and they're super easy to apply because they don't have really thick bands. You can just kind of pop them on and move them where you want. So like I said, these are the 213s. 
So for doing my beautiful terracotta blush and canyon spice blush, these are the, just the best and most amazing brushes ever. I've been obsessed with them because they just work so flawlessly and they're like best friends. They work even better together. So what I do first is grab my blush and I put it on the Real Techniques. This is the blush brush and I like it because it's kind of like a little bit of an egg shape. shape. It's contoured and I can put it on my cheeks and then blend it out. And then I come in with this little guy which is the Sigma Duo Fiber F50 and you can see it's more of like a flat top but what I love this to do is because sometimes blush can get a little bit like limey right in here and if you have bronzer on or if you're more fair skin and you just want to blend it out more all I do is I grab this and because it's a duo fiber it blends beautifully so I just take this and go around the edges and just blend everything in so this is like the color applier and then this is the flawless buffer last but not least but probably not the last time you're gonna hear about Kawhi because it was so much fun is what I have been reading now I haven't shared with you guys any of my reads and it's actually pretty easy because all of my favorite uh, I just love the way that she writes books is um, Colleen Cobble this is one of her series it's um, Rosemary Cottage I read this and the Butterfly Palace while I was on vacation I love these books they are Christian novels um, I only read I tend to only read Christian novels um, or Christian murder mystery type books uh, I just absolutely love the way that Colleen writes her books because she tells you like a story and then she just wraps stuff all around and kind of creates a community that you get to know through her series which is really fun and she has a whole bunch of things she has period books which are some of my absolute favorites like westerns um kind of like hoity toity society ho ho hoity toity society of like the 1900s and just some really awesome really fun romance dabbling with murder dabbling with suspense dabbling with mystery all of my favorite things to read combined in one so this is the one that i just read and i have to say i really have been liking this one this is in a series and what series is this in? I forget. This is the Hope Beach novel series and this is the number two book out of that. So if you want a good summer read, go check out Colleen Cobble. All of her books are to die for. Last but not least is my jewelry favorite. It is the one on my wrist. I don't have a gob of silver jewelry just because I tend to go more towards gold. But when I do wear my fun silver jewelry, this is my go-to bracelet. I love bracelets. Um, if I could have like a whole stack up to the half of my arm, I probably would. But just to show you, this is the three bracelet by Twisted Silver, of course. There is a discount code down below for the Twisted Silver that you can get 15% off. And this is just like the perfect, easy, already layered stack. It has three bracelets and then two little tokens that hang down from these silver aluminum chain links and I just love it because I can pair it with anything silver and kind of mix it in because it does have the gold tokens so I can play that in with other pieces that have a little bit more gold to it. So that is the end of my May favorites. I know I don't have a ton but what am I gonna do? I have the ones that I love and that's the ones I'm sharing with you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys! Hello everyone and to blah, 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 blah. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Today it's going to be a little overcast and rainy and it might rain down puppy dogs, so go get your nets out. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs>